I'm TQ. I'm JQ. We're the Q Brothers. Q Brothers. What up? What up? <laughs> um, hey, we're going to smell some fragrance. One fragrance, actually, in particular. Uh, and it is a rose fragrance. I don't know. This won't, video won't be out there in time to buy it for Valentine's Day. Um, but that's okay. Because... Because some of you will forget. Yeah. And also... Or and also this video by the next Valentine's Day. And also, rose is... <laughs> Rose is one of those things. This is a limited edition from Maison Francis Kirk John uh, Paris, Paris uh, and it's a la rose. And it just came out. And so the idea is um, 250 centifolia roses from Gras and 150 damascana roses from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yep. Um, so let's spray it. Do you want to smell the dry down first? You want to give me the cap? Smell that. Smell that. Ah, so sometimes we talk about when we smell rose uh, that rose is not a feminine um, flower by nature. It can go both ways. It can. Rose it does. has been known to go both ways. It does. She does. He does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I would describe this as um, rose in its, maybe uh, for me, in its most feminine form. Like this is a. I don't know if I would say necessarily that. But yeah. Well, it depends on what your definition is. I don't mean sweet, cloying rose. I just mean light, I feel airy. Like we had girlier ones. Light, airy, pretty rose. This is light. It's very pretty. And actually, as it's drying down, I think it sees. I actually. Uh, and it's it's very feminine to me. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I love that about it. That's, I say that as a compliment. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you're right. I'm just I guess saying. my idea of what this is. There's, there's kind of honey it. notes in there. There's like, yeah, a little honey ish kind of thing almost. And floral notes other than rose. A little uh, other white flowers in there or something. And a, like almost like a powdery violet. Hmm, yeah. Something. But it's, it's very, I mean, that's very rosy and very feminine, and then it, the surrounding notes are feminine, too. And you've got a touch of the woodiness, perhaps, the stem and the green the stem, yeah. but I, it's not, that's not predominant no, by any means. it's not super elegant. No, well, it's Kirchen, like, nothing that, you remember how you fell in love with the ouds that we sprayed from... From the spring. I remember when I first smelled your oud. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. You always try to smell my oud. Um, no, I mean this is. It's pretty. I toxic gotta say, I I gotta say, yeah. I'm like. I am a type of person that often. I mean, I think they, we've smelled their ouds, even a rose one, right? Yeah. That very much breaks the boundaries of what rose can be like. Yeah, and even this in its traditional rose sense is breaking kind of what traditional rose means because in no moment in it am I all getting like headachey rose kind of like oh yeah it's really nice on you kind of thing like yeah well but I mean part all, of that is I think us becoming more accustomed to I mean, like, we've been smelling better and better product and higher quality ingredients. I mean, I, I just want to say, like, I think if you're going to compare it to, like, you know, I don't know, an example, like, Times, Times Rose fragrance that you can buy in a gift shop, like, that's never going to That's not what I'm right. comparing. Okay, I just want to make sure. I'm just saying, I Rose don't think there's very any bad, sweetness yeah. in it. Like, I don't think there's a sweet, there's a little mm. sweet from the honeyness. But the rose itself is not a sweet, sweet rose. No, this is the 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 um, centifolia from Grass is an absolute, and then the uh, the Demoskin is an is an essential oil. And I mean, it's it's potent without giving me that like sweet headachey kind of thing that I can sometimes get from rose. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, I got even you. on high quality rose. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but I, my point is, like, I don't get that from rose essential oil when I've smelled the little two mil vial that costs 
ton of money. Yeah, combinations of rose and other flowers, yeah, though. It's so you never know what you're doing. Someone making a fragrance yeah. with roses, putting other things in there. But this is a combination, too, so. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying you like this. I get it, I get it. I'm giving it props, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I got you. Me, too. I mean, I'm if you super, super if you elegant. love rose, I mean, I, I can't see how you could pass this up. I don't think so. I really, I really like. You know, unless you like, unless you're one of those people who wants. This is not the dark side of rose. That's what I'd say. There are some people. That's where, you, for someone who's looking for rose in its sort of dark mystery form, I don't the, think the, that like, this muskier powder. Yeah, or oud or, notes and yeah. with oud things where it gets kind of in a in a Incense more world. incense world. Like the, the, that's this doesn't have any of that. This is like elegant, elegant rose done in its just a really beautiful pure form and the surrounding notes just seem to heighten the rose the pure rose aspect of it it's interesting like like finding a finding like a sort and of and it's not cloying but it's, it's finding it, like a scent that goes so hard in one direction yet remains balanced it's yeah. such an interesting thing and like this does that really well yeah. it's not trying to be a balanced scent in that it has everything in it. No. It's trying to go in one direction, but within that spectrum, it's yeah. very well balanced. Yeah, it's named know? properly a la rose. Like, it's it's a rose, yeah. for sure. There's an, And that's the star of the show, and even a, the, you know, the supporting yeah. players, but there are, there are little, there's like a chorus behind it that's just like singing out rose, even though it's other notes. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. great. It's well, great. Man, I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Enjoy.